hello everyone welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video I, will, I am here to share with us a very simple but most effective way to break any kind of courses using some 38 and a cup of water yes most of us were wondering how can I break courses using just water we all know that everybody in this world consumes water no matter even if you're not you're sick even if you don't take the water orally through your mouth you must take some drip to keep yourself hydrated anytime you're dehydrated you're going to the other world so that is the same way you can use water to destroy any causes any sickness any pains you are going through most of us are going through a lot in this life you have, been, you have been sick for years, no solution. You have been from one place to another. Some of you have even gone to places you swung with your life that your leg will never go. Just because of your sickness, just because of your predicament. But I am here today to reassure you that God always listens. Challenge him, cry unto him. Tell him why he should you know, cleanse you, he should forgive you your sins, he should heal you. Some of us, the only sickness we have is sickness of poverty. We cannot provide our needs. We cannot afford to pay our bills. We cannot afford to eat. Eating is a problem. Before you eat, you must beg. So many people are okay physically. You see them disguising themselves to go and beg on the street because they don't know who to run to again. They will prefer to answer a blind man, a crippled man, just to beg. But after today's video, by the grace of God, whatever it is that you feel is a limitation in your life, that cause that has been placed on you, that sickness that the enemies have caused you, will be a thing of the past after today's video. So all you need to do for me is to get a new glass cup, the one you have not used. Just go to the market, buy a glass cup, any kind of glass cup. Don't use rubber cup, it must be a glass cup. Get a bottle of water you've not opened. Just go to the supermarket, wherever they sell bottled water. Get the bottle of water. Open it by yourself. Do not fetch from the tap. Do not buy the one you uh, do not take the one from your fridge that you have opened. Just go outside, buy this water. Don't buy, don't take it from the one you have in the house already. Go outside, buy this water, buy a glass cup, then buy a sachet of salt. New sachet of salt. Do not take salt in the house. Even if you have a bag of salt, just go and buy a small sachet of salt. When you buy the sachet of salt, early morning before you, uh, just when you wake up, as you want to pray, open your Bible as a Christian. You are going to read Psalm 38. The Psalm, if you read it, there is no how you pray with this Psalm. God will not hear your cry. The, the title of the psalm is The Prayer of a Sufferer. Remember that when you are sick, you are suffering. When you are suffering from abject poverty, you are suffering. When you are cursed, you are suffering. You will see a matured lady over 30 years, over 40 years, no serious relationship. That is an error. No matter how pretty you are. Somebody have graduated over 10 years, no job. You have applied everywhere. You are even more qualified than the people they have been employing. That is an error. That is a cause. Break it. Cry unto God. Speak to God. Open your mouth. Meditate to God. Tell him your problems. He's your father. The way you call people on the phone, crying and telling them, do the same way. Talk to God. Speak to him in spirit. If you can speak in tongues, speak. Speak in the language that God understands. Then, get your water. Open the water. Pour it inside a transparent cup like this. Read this Psalm 38. I'm going to be reading some portions of it. Then go ahead and read it three times. Take that water. Drink a little. Just add a little salt. Just a little salt from that packet of salt inside that cup of water. Drink a little. Use the remaining. Wash your face. Just sprinkle it all over your face. All over your body if there is a place maybe you have a sore on your leg you have waist pain you are sick you know the problems you are facing 
you know the problem, the things that are going wrong, you know what you're passing through. Just read this psalm. Then after using the water to touch all over your body, if there is any particular place that is paining you, or maybe you have a child that has mental problem or has eye problem, or you have a, the, a disease that has given you sleepless and you've spent money in the hospital, use this water, rub it all over your body as you're praying, as you're reading your psalms, read inside the, bottle, the cup of water, say your prayers, tell God to heal you. As you touch this water all over your body, let there be healing, let there be miracle all over your body. If you're suffering as a result of what somebody has placed on you, a cause that has followed you from your father's side, from the womb, that God should cleanse you. Remember the miracle God did in the Bible using water. There are many miracles in the Bible God did. Remember when he turned water into wine? Remember the way he divided the Red Sea? Remember the way he used water to heal the leopards. So these are the things you should believe and know that God will do it for you. If God can do it and you are meditating on this Bible as a Christian, this is the book you, you read and believe that God really exists. Use that the same Bible version, this same Bible to challenge God. So I'm going to be reading some portion of the Psalm 38. Oh Lord, don't punish me in your anger. At times why you're suffering because God is not happy with you. Maybe you have offended a child of God that have placed a curse on you. Or what your forefathers did that is actually following you. You have wounded me with your arrows. You have struck me down. Because of your anger, I am in great pain. Yes, when God, when you annoy God, God can be, you know, God can change it for you. Let me use that language. But God is still a merciful God. Bend down on your knees. Ask for his healing. Ask for his forgiveness. Ask for his mercy and his ever just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. The verse 4 of it say, I am drawing in the flood of my sins. They are burden too heavy to bear. Oh God, you know your sins may be the reason why God is punishing you. Confess your sins. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to deliver you from the predicament you have been through. Ask God to heal you from this sickness. Ask God to change your story for good. Remember Jabez in the Bible. Tell God to change your name. And my God, the God I know I serve, the ever-living God will change your story for good. He is going to write your name. Those that have mocked you will give glory to the God because they have seen the glory of God in your life and they will want to know the kind of God you serve by believing and seeing the miracles God is going to do in your life. The Bible verse is very, very interesting. Just read it down because of our time. Read Psalm 38. Use this water as I have instructed. The next day you do this. Do this for seven days and believe me, you must see the hand of God in your life. Just try this assignment and make sure you share your testimony under the comment section on the was on my WhatsApp. Please, the remaining salt, after using it for seven days, sprinkle it around your house. Okay, sprinkle it around your house. And by the grace of God, your problem is settled in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for watching the video and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.